Hello and welcome to our program today. It's always great when the family comes together for at home. And it really wouldn't be the same without you. Today's a little bit different of a program. We're going to show you a, a wonderful, wonderful recipe for a delicious cake. But more than that, how would you feel if a dear friend of yours were in a coma for two months and not expected to live? Or the, their doctors didn't give you much hope or perhaps even came into her hospital room and said, we don't know what to do. What would you do in a situation like that? My guest today is a person that that happened to. And we're gonna talk to her about that after she prepares a really fantastic cake. And, and I wonder if you will make a phone call and just get other people who maybe don't have much hope today or are living in a situation where it doesn't look like there's any way out or perhaps they're sick in their body and they don't know what to do. Doctors have said there's nothing we can do. That's the kind of a person I really want to be watching today. So if you know someone like that, we go to the phone and ask them to please tune in Arlene at home today because I have hope for you. I have an answer for you. And today there is hope because we have Jesus Christ who is our savior and he's our healer. We're gonna talk all about it today, but first we're gonna give you today's at home hint. So stay with us, we'll be right back in just a minute. Here's today's at home hint. Never, never, never fill cake pans or cupcake tins more than two thirds full with batter. The batter will bake over the edges and you will have a very big disaster on your hands. If you have an at-home hint, a favorite recipe, or just a friendly greeting you'd like to share, we'd like to hear from you. Post it in the comments of this video or visit our Facebook page. Well, it's my pleasure to introduce to you a very dear, good friend of mine. I'm so glad you're here, Sue. Oh, Sue Bader. Yeah. <laughs> she's from the North Hills of Pittsburgh. She's a, she's a hairdresser and um, she's a woman who really loves the Lord. And that's Amen. the most outstanding thing about you to oh, me. Thanks. It is. Thank you. Your life shows it. One of the, the best givers in the world. She, well, we want to go in there because I can't do it. <laughs> we can give but you a recipe today. We're gonna, yeah, she's going <laughs> to give, share it with everyone. All right, that's good. Now, Sue is known for this cake. Her pineapple upside down cake is awesome. So I said, how about sharing that with our viewers and then we'll talk later, okay? okay. All right, what are we doing, Sue? Well, first of all, I don't think it's any coincidence that it's pineapple upside down cake. Why? Because my life was turned upside down a few years ago, yes, as you it know. Was. I remember. So we're going to share this tonight. Okay. Okay. Now, first of all, I take maybe a cup, cup and a half. What do you have? I One put and a half it in a bowl, right? Sugar. Microwavable bowl, about a half a stick of butter. So that'd be like a fourth of a cup. Right. We're going to measure that, and we're going to put a little bit of teaspoon of vanilla. Now this is different because normally. You'd put that in here, but she doesn't do that just yet. She will, but not just yet. We melt that in the microwave. Okay, back there. Now, we, of course, you know, the recipes are available to you, and we'll be sure that you get them. We'll tell you how to do that in just a minute. So basically, you're melting the brown sugar. Right. And the butter and right. the vanilla. Right. Okay. You need a spoon to stir that. Okay. Right, right. Now what are we going to do? Then you take your, you get your pan ready, and you can make a decision on what type of pan you like. I... Now this is a 13 by nine. Right. Okay. Talk us through it because you have a really large, this is a three, four sheet Right. Cake. That's my favorite. Yeah. This makes it, a beautiful I cake. I always think more is better. Yeah. So, and, I, and what's nice about this is you use two cake mixes, you use two cans of pineapples, and you get 20 pieces, 20 so recipe, big pieces. The recipe that we're providing you in our newsletter and on our internet, would you'd use two of those recipes Correct. in one pan. Double. Okay. Double. Right. Okay. But you're only, but what you're doing today, you're making one. Correct. Okay. Or you could even use a circle one. A round pan. Right. The only difference with, with the nine by 13, you have 10 pineapples and 10, ten doesn't slices. fit in there, yeah. 10 slices. And it doesn't fit in there exactly correct unless you want to, now what I did for the, uh, the one I'm going to show today, I'm going to, I opened two cans. I'm only going to use the one and, and two Probably extra yeah. pineapples to make it even. But Sue, so you could buy a big can and then that little small can that they have there too. There you go. That there would be just probably just right. 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 So for, because you know what, the pineapples, the placement of the pineapples and the cake baking it, when she flips this, that pineapple placement holds, has to hold on the top of that cake for it to really look nice. I don't know if you've been like me, I have flipped them and the pineapples are flying off because something wasn't right. 
And in every cake that she does, they look like a picture because they're so perfect, which is what you really strive for. Right. Okay, so this then, do you grease and flour? I don't. Because uh, there's butter in there. I, I huh? used to, but I don't. It's not necessary. You don't have to. But what I do uh, also is, now when I pour that in here, it, it's you don't get it spread out right away. So I throw it in the oven for maybe one or two minutes. Okay, what's the temperature? 350. 350, so that's preheated, and then right? That, yeah, and then it smooths it out and it, it sort Covers of evens it, it up. Right. Okay, and that's what we're looking forward. She also, which is really neat, like if you want to take it to somebody's house and so you don't want to take it in the pan, you get these little boards at your cake decorator or cake um, candy supply place. And what are these? Just a few, not very much, are they? 80 cents, that one. 80 cents, okay, that's pretty too. Very right, nice. Right. Okay, so that's another option you can do. Okay, so what should that look like? Kind of like that. Right. Kind of creamy, okay. No nuts in that, right? Not yet. But there will be eventually, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> when, how long have you been making this cake? Several years. It just, it, I don't know even how it developed. Somebody said they liked it. Well, I, quite honestly, it's a lot easier than making cakes with icing. And she used to do that. Used to I cake used decorate. to, and it was so much work. And this yeah. is the easiest cake because when you're done, you're done. You're done. You don't have to right, ice it or anything. Right, right. Okay, now you want to put that in the oven? Put it right in the oven. Okay, go ahead. I think it's in the top, uh, top one's up to 350 degrees again. Now, you only leave that for a couple of minutes, right? Right, you just check it, and then it'll all spread out pretty even, because okay. I used to work, work it and work it and work yeah. it to get it even. Don't and need to. No. All right, now, necessary. what's the, the cake part of it then? Okay. I choose to use Duncan Hines French Vanilla. A richer cake. Well, huh? it's between a white and a yellow. It's not, it's it's neither one okay. or the other, but it's it's like right in between. Good and flavor. that's the one I find okay. as the best. Where's the scissors? Here? Scissors are in here. Alrighty. Okay. So now another thing I learned when making cakes, mm -hmm. do you ever pour them in and they're flying everywhere? Yeah. I like to put the liquids in first. Oh, that's smart. Maybe I could break some of these eggs for sure. you. Help you out a little bit. Okay, there's one. Here's two. Now you put the vanilla. You don't put the vanilla. You put it in the other, right? No, I put a little vanilla in there too. Do you? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think all of that enriches, don't you? Right. It enhances the oh, flavors. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now. Now, what I do is I use the juice in the in the cake mix. Where you know where the calls for a cup and a half of yeah, water. water. Mm -hmm. I just add the juice. See, I do too, because I think it makes it taste better. And then I add milk. I never, I don't use any water. Really? I just add milk to equal Milk with up. the juice. Right. Now it, it'll really? be, um, it should be a cup and a third. So we don't have this too much. This is one cup. A bit under a cup. So we'll just add a third. Okay. Go ahead. I'll tell you when to stop. One, yeah. There we go. There you go. And then we we'll use a third cup of oil. Pour that you in. You put that in there too. Whoa. Right. That almost makes it like sour, huh? Yeah. It sours it up. There you okay. go. Okay. We're going to add all of that. All that. Okay. And you add your cake then mix. Then you add the cake mix. Now you're gonna let this beat for how long? About two minutes. Just till it comes together, right? Right. right. How are we doing? Think that's done in the oven yet? I'll uh, do this while you do that. A nope, couple Not more yet? minutes. Okay. Right. Okay. So you get that going. I turn it up a little higher. Than okay. Me. Go ahead. Anything else here? Because when you here? have the liquid on their knees, it doesn't splatter. You're right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. I love those words. <laughs> okay. Splatter. Yeah. Really. Okay. And that just until it comes together, so you don't add anything else to that? Nope, that's it. Okay. Do you have a spatula? Sure. Oh, there's one right in that little picky there. It's fun when uh, people get together and cook in each other's kitchens. Like, she has no clue where anything is here, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but that's fun. That's fun we all get together and we learn, right? Right. Okay. All right. Nothing like those kitchen aids, huh? Right. Just got a new one for Christmas. Yours was pink too. Pink. I am so jealous that she got a pink KitchenAid. About the color of this? Right. Well, no, it's a, a little bit lighter. It's for breast uh, cancer. Awareness. Yeah, oh, we're right, okay. right. Okay. All righty. That should do us. Okay. So that's ready to go. We have to put the pineapples All right. together. Give a uh, right in that drawer, right next to you, right there. Yeah. Move some of this out of the way so you can see what we're doing. Just swirl it around, makes it a lot easier. Look how nice. Oh, are. absolutely. Okay. We'll let you put that right down. You want to uh, put it here? Is that okay? Sure. 
All right, now. Let me spread it out. You just take a little. Just to get it oh, even. Oh, yeah. Wonderful pan, too, huh? This is that Bakeworks pan. Okay. 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 We start laying these in? Right. Is that what you do next? Right. Okay, and you want to go how many across? Four, four, and four. Or three, 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 four, four. <laughs> three? Uh, three times three four, right? Right. There you See, go. it does pay to go to, to classes when you're a kid to learn how to add, subtract, and multiply. <laughs> you think, what am I doing these fractions for? You know what? When you get older, you say, oh, hmm, I need to learn that. Right. Right? Hey, Here we go. Pretty okay, good, huh? now what? Put the cherries in, the centers. Okay. I love the smells. I wish you could smell. This is awesome. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. I'm going to take about a cup, cup and a half of nuts. Now those are walnuts? Walnuts. You can use pecans if you prefer. I use walnuts. Could, did you ever do almonds? No. I wonder what that would be like. I don't know. Something different, huh? She puts them all around the edge, too. All around there. And it doesn't hurt if you get on the pineapple because the cake's going to just it's go It's going to absorb right, it, huh? Right. But you want wow. it to, to show up at the end when you, yeah, you, when you be able flip to it them. over. Okay. You get on the edges. Mm-hmm. Some in there yet? Yeah. Yeah, she's, one thing, she's very generous with all of this. She don't skimp. More is better. Yeah, always. <laughs> okay. Okay, Good. there we go. Now, take that off. I'll take that. There you go. Thank you. And we basically, you're just going to pour that over pour top. It in. And that's it. Look how nice and creamy that batter is. Mm -hmm. Wow. I just like the, uh, yeah. the French vanilla. And you know, you didn't have to beat that and beat and beat it just till it come together and got right, smooth and it's right. ready. And just spread it out. Yeah. All right, she's gonna put this in the preheated 350 degree oven. When we come back, we have some things we wanna to talk to you about. So stay with us, we'll be right back in just a minute. Do you love watching At Home with Arlene Williams? Then be sure to check out our new YouTube channel. It's filled with classic episodes from over 20 years of At Home and more videos are added each day. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Now tell me, how long are we gonna bake that cake? Uh, but, well that size, the big one I use, I usually leave in 40 minutes and that's plenty, but for a smaller one, usually around 30, 35. Check it till it's brown, doesn't... Move in the know, middle. Right, right. right. Okay. Well, the reason I really, um, besides that cake, I wanted to talk to you today because I've been getting a lot of mail from people who are hurting. And I know that you went through a really horrendous time in your life, Sue. Yes, I did. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I had some complications to surgery of several, about a little over two years ago. I remember. And uh, the last thing I remember was being taken to the emergency room. My son-in-law woke him up at four o'clock in the morning. I had excruciating pain. And he took me to the hospital, and that's the last thing I remember. And, uh, and now it's all hearsay. Yeah. <laughs> but one thing that was fortunate, I was fortunate, my, my daughter and my sister kept a journal hmm. while I was in. And you know, Wait, I mean, how long were you there? In, in, the, in the hospital. I was in intensive care for two months. Two months. Two months. And um, then I had to go to rehabilitation. I had to learn to walk all over again. Because of the complications of the correct, surgery. Correct. My bowel herniated and turned gangrenous. Jesus. And uh, it, it was... It was quite a challenge, I although remember. I don't remember anything. No, and I remember as our church body gathered together, we would That's pray. Right. Our pastor would lead us in prayer. Paul and I prayed every day. And I remember thinking, oh, I should go and visit. But I have to be honest with you, I was a little bit afraid that it would shake my faith because I knew that you were having a rough time. I, my, our friend Dale, he came to visit me and he said, Sue, I had to close my eyes to pray oh, for you. Yeah. They said my head swelled up three times its size. My Jesus. my tongue was hanging out. I almost bit my tongue off. Jesus. Uh, I had turned septic, and uh, you had that ARDS. Well, in I had your ARDS, which is acute respiratory or adult respiratory distress syndrome, and uh, it's a very serious. My niece said she got on the internet and read about it, and they said only 10% of the people live with have it. And I said, oh my, but it was scary for my family. Sure. It and was. you know, I think Arlene, we talk to our kids till we're blue in the face, mm -hmm. and we think they don't listen. But this was a very good example. My, my daughter and my sister uh, had a special anointing on them. They became like bulldogs, they said. Uh -huh. and, you know, you think they don't listen, but they did everything that I probably would have done and more. Mm -hmm. They uh, took tapes 
uh, our pastor has the tape, um, Creating an Atmosphere yeah. for Healing. It's all, all healing scripture. scriptures. Mm -hmm. They took it to the nurses and told them, play this play constantly and music, play the, play the tapes. Absolutely. And uh, in fact, I go back to the intensive care unit and visit, uh, there's a nurse there, Susan, and she said, uh, uh, I turn those tapes for you all the time. And, they, and she takes me around and she'll say, do you know who this is? Do you remember <laughs> who this is? Because I looked pretty bad. Yeah in that situation. And so you can identify with a person who's very, had been maybe told that you have no, hope, no hope or yeah. that this is the way life's gonna be, so get used to it right. and it's not the best. Right. Well, you know, Arlene, several years ago, and I, and I hesitated saying anything because it sounded sort of boastful. The, uh, the Lord spoke to me, to my heart, and mm -hmm. he said that he was gonna use me to pluck people up out of the jaws of death. Wow. And I didn't understand the fullness of it. Say I didn't it think he was gonna pluck. use me to pluck people up out of the jaws yes, of death. Yes. Wow. And I, I didn't understand that yeah. I was gonna have to be one of them. Sometimes, but, you, get, <laughs> right. sometimes you get to taste what you serve. I had to <laughs> taste it. So uh, I, I hesitated in sharing that with anybody because it does sound, sound boastful. Yeah, it does. But a, 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 one of my customers, I'm a hairdresser, and she was, in intent, she was in the hospital and she took a turn for the worse and I went to do her hair. Her husband had asked me to come and when I went to the hospital, he said, oh, she took a turn, mm -hmm. she can't get her hair done. And I said, well, would you mind if I prayed? Okay, yeah. And he said, fine, you know. So I, I really took authority and I came against the spirit of death. Absolutely. And uh, prayed and left. And I didn't hear anything. And a few weeks later, he called me. She was in Harmerville Rehabilitation Center. And he <laughs> said, would you go and do her hair? And so I went over and she said, Sue, do you know, did anyone tell you what happened? And I said, no. And she said, when you laid hands, she said, I know I was going into a coma. Mm -mm -mm. And it, it, she's, and I never told anyone this, mm -hmm. so it was really interesting. She said, it was like a big hand come down Jesus. and pulled me right back. And I said, you know, that just confirmed what God has showed me. And now I'm boldly saying. Yes, you are. You know, there's a scripture in it. It says, um, let not the wise man boast of his wisdom. Let not the mighty man boast of his might. Mm -hmm. Let not the rich man boast of his riches. Let him boast, boast of this, that he knows and understands me, that I'm a God oh. of loving kindness and righteousness. And we can boast, our Lord. Absolutely, because we, we know. He's a good God. He is a good God. He is. And you know what? Um, there are times in all of our lives that we're going to face that. Yep. We're going to face times and struggles that we don't know what to do. Just like you didn't. And I, I remember saying, man, I can't wait till she gets away because I'm going to ask her. I'm sure God's taken her all over heaven and he's told her things to come. And I said to you, Sue, what was God saying while you were out? And you said nothing. No, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, today we want to pray for you because this is a woman of faith. I like to think I'm a woman of faith because I've seen God move in my life, my loved one's life, people's lives. And I want us to pray and I'm going to ask you to pray. I want you to look into your camera and I okay. want you to pray for them. And I will be in agreement with you. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Right there. Well, thank you, Arlene. Jesus. If you've joined us today and your life is upside down like mine was, or, or maybe you uh, have some death hanging around in some areas of your life, doesn't it necessarily even have to be physical? Physical, that's right. Or if uh, there was a, the one part of the Excuse me, do you mind if I no. share something? In, in the, um, in the journal. journal that my daughter kept, there was a doctor, we nicknamed him Dr. Doom because he came in and he said there was absolutely no hope. Yeah. You know? And so if you have a Dr. Doom hanging around mm -hmm. your situation saying there's no hope, we're just going to join together in agreement Believe. that yes, the sorry. Lord would pluck you up out of the Amen. jaws of the death that's kept you bound. Amen. Father, we do join together in agreement. We thank yes. you, Father, for the word, the word of life. And we just right now come against the spirit of death that would keep anyone back from the fullness of the life that you've called mm. us to. Lord, in the name that is above Jesus. every name, the strong name of Jesus, we just mm -hmm. right now pluck these people up out of the jaws of death. Jesus Cancer, name. you have no power right. in the name of Jesus. You spirit mm -hmm. of death, you go in the name Jesus of Jesus. Name. Poverty, sickness, death, disease, in Jesus' name, mm -hmm. we just ask Holy Spirit, Spirit that you would just touch each and every person thank from you, the sound Jesus. of our ears, in Jesus, the sound of our voice, in Jesus' name, and we thank you thank and we give you, you the Lord. glory. Amen. Amen. There's a number on your screen. If you'd like someone to pray further with you, please call that number. We'll be right back in just a minute with more of At Home. Just go to ctvn.org slash at home to get all the recipes from today's show for free. That's right. 
no subscriptions. They're available online at no cost, and more are being added each day. So join us at ctvn.org slash at home to get today's recipes now. Hope you've enjoyed today's program. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you. It was a pleasure, and we didn't get to tell all of it, I know. But there's a number on the screen, and I want you to write that down because that phone number answers 24 hours a day and is there for you. How about letting me have a little taste okay. of that wonderful cake? Look at this cake. Oh, a little dollop of Cool Whip on top or some whipped cream. Awesome. And I tell you what, the more you make of these, the better they taste, Sue. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. Now, what would you tell me about putting in a microwave? If you throw it in the microwave for maybe 30 seconds, 30, warm it up, a little bit of Cool Whip. It maybe. tastes just like uh, it's hot from the oven, right, huh? Right, right. Awesome. Thank you so much. This oh, was such welcome. a treat. And uh, most of all, I want to remind you, God loves you. He's not angry with you. He's never mad at you. He's the one that loves you and cares about what happens to you and wants your life to be full and free. Doesn't want you to be in bondage to anybody or to anything. Make that important phone call right now, will you? And be sure to join us the next time because it just wouldn't be the same without you. Here at home, we'll see you then. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.